it doesn't always repeat itself. Two things might repeat themselves. You lot screaming and shouting and Tony Bellew playing games. They may repeat themselves. But you know, won't, you know what won't repeat itself? You know what? This time David's going to win. This time he will, because you know it as well. You know it. You know it and you know it. You know it. You can kid yourselves all you like. Play your little games. All shout at me. Oh, that's good. You're wrong. You're wrong, guys. And Saturday night, you'll see. Sit down, lad, and get back on the in-betweeners. We like that. Adam getting fiery. We like that. But I'll tell you one thing now. I have absolutely no doubt that your boy is going to win this fight on Saturday night. I see a different David Hay this time around. I remember we made an infamous fight. It was a real war. You might have remembered it. It's called Hay Harrison a few years ago. And I remember seeing David Hay and I thought, Jesus Christ, we've got absolutely no chance. That was on the ring walk. But I don't see the same energy. I don't see the same confidence. I'm not sure I see the same look in his eye. <laughs> the suits aren't as good either. But we know we have a real fight on our hands this Saturday night at the O2 Arena. Bottom line, you're all here. You're all going to be watching on Saturday night for a great fight. You've got two fighters here that have both got great personalities, great characters, and they both want this fight. The difference is, I know Tony Bellew. I know what this fight means to him. It's not just, it's not just about David A. It's about Tony Bellew. It's about what he wants to achieve in this sport. It doesn't matter who's in front of him on Saturday night. Yes, we know that David A has got a reputation for being fast, sharp, fantastic. He was a fantastic fighter. But I'll say what I said the first fight. He was a fantastic fighter. And now he's a fantastic former fighter that was, he's trying to catch what he used to have. And he's got a fantastic coach in, his, in Ismail Salas. You know, I've, I've, I've got nothing but respect for you. Um, but the bottom line is, you've, you've had 19, 20 world champions. You're a fantastic coach. And I know the work you'll have put in with him. And David, looking at his Instagram uh, videos and photos, in fantastic shape. Tell me a fight when he doesn't look in fantastic shape. He's always in fantastic shape. The difference is, he's fighting Tony Bellew. And he's coming for revenge. You gave him a great welcome last time. Come on, do it again. David Hay. I was expecting a bit more than that. Come on, come on. Welcome, welcome Liverpool. Thanks for coming out. Um, <laughs> last, last time round, I was a bit angry. Last time round, I was a bit angry. This time round, not so much. I've uh, trained very hard. Um, I didn't believe Tony Bellew had what it took to beat me on my worst night. I was terribly wrong. He raised his game way more than I'd ever seen in any of his prior fights, and I expect exactly the same thing again on Saturday night. I expect, you look, even looking in his eyes, looking at his face, he's, he looks trimmer, he looks fitter, he looks leaner. He, he looks I am. more. I can feel it, I can, I I can see it. I can look. I, am. I can look in your face and see it. I know I can see it in yours too. Fear. Exactly. The we're, fear both, we're, we're, bo we're both going to be better versions. Are you going to tell them all to bet time. on me again? Am I going to what? Are you going to tell them all to bet on me again? I'm going to tell you guys if not. You to, really not believe to bet, in Tony to, Bell? You. If you really believe in Tony Bell, you go if out there and put all your money that. on. No, knowing what I know is going to happen on Saturday, it would be a bit mean for me to say that. So I'd say, if you want to make some money, to make the money back. Bet on me this time. Make the money back. They made a fortune betting me to knock you well, out. You, you, you make, you, That's where they made the money. That's where they I'm made the money. About the money that, uh, bet on don't need one. to make nothing bet, back. Bet, the winners. Anyway, we all anyway. won that night. This whole city won that night because this whole city went into a bookies 
and done what they've done. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about on that front row, but I'll leave you to it. My speed time and his back. I'm faster, sharper. Just like last it's time. It's all back. It's Just all like back. last time. Pardon? You make a 2.0. It's 10.0 this time. <laughs> 10.0. It must be 25.6. 62.9. You've made more comebacks than fucking Bruce John McLean. I have. And this time is when it all, uh, cl this time is when it all clicks together. I'm feeling good. And uh, make sure everybody tunes into this fight. We're well, Scousers, and that's what we do. We support our own. Thank you very much, lad. Thank you. First of all, I'd just like to thank Will out of the in-betweeners for uh, giving me more motivation. <laughs> Silly boy, but you know, calm down, Will. On Saturday, mate, it comes to an end. It really does. And for the first time in your whole career, you are actually fighting for your career. Not even injury saves you this time, David. For the first time in your whole career, you are going to walk the ring and think, if this goes wrong, nothing can save me. And, and let's, let's not mix it up. I've done this five, six times. And I know the pressure that brings to you. I know the kind of atmosphere that can generate. And you're in a lot of trouble Saturday, mate. You really are. I don't need to... I, I, before the last fight, I never needed to hate David. I never needed... He's got this belief I was trying to wind him up. I wasn't. I just told him a few home truths. The fact of the matter is, David isn't back to win world titles. David is the man who's back to rob the bank. And he's trying to do it with as little risk as possible. And the mistake that he made is he picked this little fat cruiserweight scouser with a mouth to try and make that against because he thought it was an easy fight. If David was really back for world titles, he would have just got on the phone to Al Heyman and his advisors and made the fight with Deontay Wilder. But the sad fact of it all is David wants to fight crabs and little fatties. And the bad thing is I fall into that category of little fatty. I can accept it. Like I said, I'm a realist. I'm not a fantasist. David is living in fantasy land if he believes he can become undisputed every champion of the world. Because on Saturday night, David gets his ass smacked and put back in his box. If this one's for the Bomber Bell, you also want to say is, once one of us go to war, we all go to war. We're all behind you, big fella, and you can fucking do this. Let's have it! Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. Evening, fellas. David. If you were to beat, if you were to beat Tony Saturday night, what would happen? It'd be one apiece. Would you go for the, a third one? Say it again, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, your scorecard three two to him was didn't reflect the three judges' scorecards, which are the only ones that matters. He won the first round. I won two, three, four, and five, and he won everything from six onwards. That's the official score. It's not my opinion, not what I think, not what you guys think. It's what the actual scores were. <clears throat> so, um, and was the rest of the question? Would you ask? I was, yeah, I was surprised at how slick he was. His defence was very good. His uh, movement, I hadn't really seen too much of that um, prior. Maybe because I hadn't really watched too many of his fights. That might have had something to do with it. Um, I didn't think he could do the things he did. And uh, I, was, I was impressed, not at the time, I was pretty frustrated, to be honest. But um, yeah, his, his defence was way better than I gave him credit for going into the ring. I thought I literally just had to walk across the ring and hit him in the head. And I was very, very wrong. And he beat me. Am I not the worst world champion in the world anymore then? Yeah, clearly not, you beat oh, me. Thanks, mate. Beat you're me. damn made up with that. I, I can, I'll sleep you, well you've tonight. Pro you've proved me wrong. That, no, it's not about proof. I'm just saying, he you did. just said I was the worst world champion that's ever lived. And that, was, that was before you beat me. I know, I'm just saying, I just can't believe how the quick, the drastic turnaround is coming. You know, it's, it's amazing. Thank you All very right, much. All right, boys, calm down, calm down. <laughs> David, just a question. I mean, how could you possibly be in better shape? Because in build up to the last fight, you said you was in the, the, the best you've ever felt. They were your exact words in the press conference the last time. So well, I don't. I'm better than that now. I don't you, understand you how. Be better. How? You'll see, you'll see. I don't want to tell you exactly how it is. I'd like to surprise you on Saturday. Oh, thank you, but I'm not... It'd be, nice, it'd be a nice surprise for you. It just, I mean, it, uh, last time it was such a, you know, uh, you're on the medical power that I don't know what it is, but, you know, what? Uh, how, do you, how do you go from your best ever camp? I mean, listen, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. It hasn't been my best ever camp. It, I've had camps that are better, but then I've had my worst ever camp and had my greatest ever result. I'm just, I'm just confused. I'm, I'm a, how does 
your best ever camp, then just get better again. I, I don't understand that. I mean, if you could explain it to me in, in you layman have, you terms. Can have, so you can, look, if this drink is the best one I've had today, tomorrow I can have another one, it'll be better. That's it. Sometimes things get better sometimes. And it, this one is better than the last one. If it's one. the same drink, it doesn't get better, mate. It has to be different. It tastes better to me. If it's the same drink, it can't get. You're the same person. You was the same person on March the fourth. You're the same person now. See, you just, that, I, if anything, you're a bit night, older. You'll see how much better. You'll no, but I'm just saying. You, 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 you can tell me afterwards where you think it was I'm better. I'm just saying, mate. You, you know, it's like me saying like this drink's the best and this one's even better. It's, 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 it's crazy, mate. It's the same drink. I mean, I'm I'm looking at the same man. You, you're not. I mean, what the fuck have you done? Jumped out of one body and jumped in another. You, you're the same 38 year old David A, mate. I'm sorry, but I'm just letting you know what you're not. Oh, sorry, 37. You know. I mean, you and look adding, forty, adding but, years you know, to I'm, I'm, that's not me. Just, I'm just saying, I can't understand how this thing's better than this. Yeah. Sound like I'm just asking a question. I mean, I'm, facts. I'm, I'm yeah. just asking a question. What did you say? Facts. <laughs> it's not really. It's not me. No. Well, I'm just saying, I mean, if you can't answer the question, don't worry about it. It's like the same question I asked you on Gloves Are Off about if you genuinely really want to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. And you, you couldn't answer me then. You're not interested in heavyweight championships, David. You're the one who accused me of robbing the bank, but in reality... You're the, you're the brother robbing the bank. As Tony Bellio said, uh, we have a one day behave, the best four rounder in the world. Okay, uh, that's good. But I, I like don't just think he's, I just think that's how yes, long he's Yes, very good, Scottish very man. good of you. Let, let, me, let me say sorry, what apologies. you say, you speak out now, it's my oh, time. Oh, no, sorry, apologies. Anyway, you listen up. We have, yeah. I don't want no, no problems, you, Mr. Miyagi. Calm down, man. I don't need no headaches. If you have a oh, little man, respect like... yourself, you have a little respect yourself. I'm sorry, just, just shut like... up. <laughs> so you, you, you have the Mr. David Hay four rounder, very good of you. But don't forget, now we have the down. best physical trainer who put David Hay with the four more round, and you have one in Mael Sala. He will put the another four round. So for you will be, baby, 12 round. Make sure I of lost, it. I lost, I lost. Was it fourth round, eighth round, or another four round? I, I'm sorry, mate. I forgot. So three for four is 12, baby. Thank you, boss. Let's Thank see you. you can hold it. Uh, okay. Wax on, wax off. Yep. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Tony Bellew and David Hay.